First, I'd like to say that we're going to provide you with what information we can today. As was previously mentioned, this is still a very active investigation. And it's very early in this investigation, so the details we'll be able to provide are relatively few. Shortly after 7 a.m. this morning, members of my office and the Sherburne County Drug Task Force came under fire as they attempted to execute a search warrant at residents in Benton County. Five members of the task force sustained life, excuse me, non-life-threatening injuries and were transported by ambulance or air ambulance for medical treatment. Because all were working in an undercover capacity, I cannot provide their names. But I will tell you that the injured officers include three Sherburne County Sheriff deputies, one sustained a gunshot injury, and two were shot in their bullet-resistant vests. One Elk River Police Department investigator was shot, and one Princeton Police Department investigator was shot. As of right now, the two Sherburne County deputies who were shot in their vests were treated and released from the Central Care St. Cloud Hospital. The three other officers were taken to North Memorial Health Hospital in Robbinsdale, where they continue to be treated for gunshot injuries. All are expected to survive. The suspected shooter is Carl Thomas Holmberg, age 64, of Glen Dorado Township in rural Benton County. Mr. Holmberg was injured during the incident and is being treated at North Memorial Health Hospital. A woman who was home inside the residence during the exchange of gunfire was taken to M. Fairview Northland Medical Center in Princeton where she was evaluated and released. Task Force members arrived at Mr. Holmberg's residence on 190th Avenue Northeast shortly after 7 a.m. today. They announced their arrival multiple times before entering the home. At one point, the officers came under fire. Multiple officers returned fire and the officers retreated to outside of the residence. At 10.47 a.m., after several hours of negotiations, Mr. Holmberg was taken into custody without further incident. He was transported to North Memorial Health Hospital where he continues to be treated. We don't know at this point the extent or cause of his injuries. 